Okay, Amy. Um, can you tell me about what you've seen in the patient chart? The patient chart reports that the patient was admitted through emergency yesterday. The doctor's notes show that the patient was previously admitted 10 years ago with pneumonia and has diabetes, otherwise nil other significant history. A chest x-ray was taken in ED, which I've had a look at. She also had some blood tests done, including an arterial blood gas and a haematology, which I've reviewed. Her blood results show her white blood cell count and CRP is elevated, suggesting an inflammatory or infective process. Uh, her ABG show her PaO2 was only 65, which is why she was on oxygen. Her pH was low at 7.3 and her CO2 was high at 55. Her bicarbonate was in normal range, so she has respiratory acidosis. Can we go and have a look at the chest x-ray? Sure, that sounds good. Okay, Amy, you said that you had a look at the chest x-ray. What do you think, what did you see? Okay, we have the correct patient, which is confirmed by their name and date of birth on the chart, and it seems to be the one from yesterday when she was admitted. It looks like we only have an AP view here, so I can see her clavicles are lined up quite well, and I can follow her ribs out to the edges, and it looks like well-exposed film. I can see the heart borders on the left and right. The middle looks okay, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, the diaphragms are both there, and the costrophrenic and cardiophrenic angles are present. I think the trachea is okay where it is. There seems to be some shadowing in the right lower zones. All the other areas don't look too bad. I'm not quite sure whether it's the middle or the lower lobe, um, as I can still see both the heart and diaphragmatic borders. Um, I can see the ox oxygen tubing that the patient had on, but no other attachments seem visible. If you're happy, I'll go and review the OBS chart and then we can go and see the patient. Yeah, that sounds good. The patient looks to have a higher than normal heart rate, which is 105, and respiratory rate, which is 26. They had a temperature yesterday, but today it seems normal. Her blood pressure seems normal, and she's on oxygen at 4 litres per minute, with her saturations at 93%. Her blood work from previously and observations seem to indicate an infective process. I can't seem to see a sputum culture report, but from the fact that she was coughing up green, I would say that she has an infective process. I'm already starting to think that she may have some sputum retention which may be causing some gas exchange and ventilation issues. Uh, her respiratory rate is high which fits with this but she may be short of breath which was noted in the nursing entries. Okay good, are you happy to go and see the patient? Yeah. Hi Mrs Carter, my name's Amy, I'm a physiotherapy student here. How are you feeling today? Hi Amy, please call me Polly. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit better than yesterday. Oh, well that's good to hear. Um, Polly, I see your chest has been playing up. How long has it been bothering you? Oh, well this time it's been about six days. Six days, mm -hmm. okay. Um, just looking at your chart, and I can see this isn't the first time this has happened. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's, um, it's been a problem for about the last year and a half. Year and a half, okay. So have you been to see a doctor about it? Yeah, I've been to see my GP and sometimes he's given me antibiotics. Okay. Now, have you ever been admitted to hospital? No. No. Okay. So what did you do? I just coped on my own. Okay. Yeah. So how's your breathing been generally? Have you been feeling short of breath? Very short of breath. Okay. Um, can you rate it for me? So 10 being like you've just run 100 metres and 0 being no effort at all? Oh, uh, well I guess it's probably about a 4. About a 4. Mm. Okay. So just to confirm for me, you've been really sick the last 6 days, but prior to that you've been ill for a year and a half. Yeah. So yeah. before these 6 days, how was your breathing in that period? Were you short of breath? Yeah, short of breath. I've, okay. I've been short of breath a lot. A lot. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, have you, has it been affecting your daily life at all? Yeah. I mean, even just going out to put the washing on the line, it's a bit hard. And that's been since you've been ill this time. Oh. Uh, no, it's quite often actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about exercise or walking? Uh, well, you... I used to walk everywhere, but now I'm finding it really hard. Okay. Have you managed to do any walking at all whilst you've been in the hospital? 
No, the nurses did ask me to go for a shower, but I managed to put them off until later. <laughs> okay, well maybe we can give it a go together and see how your walking is. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. Okay, um, so have you been coughing at all? Yeah, there's a lot of coughing. Mm -hmm. Do you cough more um, at any time of the day than you do at other times? Uh, I guess if it's more, it's in the morning. In the morning. Okay, great. Um, were you always coughing? As in before you were sick this time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so do you cough anything up? Yeah, this time it's greenish. Green. Before it was more yellow. More yellow? Mm. Have you been <coughs> <laughs> Have you been trying anything specifically to clear that? No. Um, it's really hard to, to clear it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, do you get any pain at all? Uh, just in my lower ribs. Yeah? Yeah, it's a bit sore. Can you describe that a little bit for me? Uh, well, it's just really painful. Really painful? Yeah. That's not good. We'll see what we can do for that, okay? Um, have they given you any pain relief? Oh uh, yeah, just about an hour ago. About an hour ago? Yeah. Okay, great. And is this your first time seeing a physio? Yeah, it is. Oh really? Yeah. You didn't see one last time when you were admitted to hospital no. for pneumonia or anything? No. No? So, um, who do you live with at home? I live with my husband and four children. <laughs> That must be a bit of a handful. Yeah, it is. How have you been coping with that? Uh, I haven't really been coping good at mm. all. Uh, luckily, my eldest helps out a bit with the little ones. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Um, but I can understand that's probably something you want to get back to doing, is that right? Yeah, it's good that she helps out, but, you know, I'd still like to be getting back to doing the things that I used to do. Of course, I can understand that. So we'll see how much we can help you with that and hopefully get you back into doing that. Um, do you have any stairs at your house? Uh, there's four stairs at the back. Four? Mm. Okay, great. And um, do you work? I just work uh, part-time at the shelter. Okay. Mm. And what does that entail? Oh uh, Well, I do a bit of food preparation and... Uh, you know, with all this coughing and bringing stuff up, it's, yeah. it's not a good look. Not affecting it well. But I would really love to get to be getting back to doing that. Yeah, it's something you enjoy? Yeah, I okay. do. Well, we'll see what we can do to get you back there as well, okay? Thank you. No problems. So, I just want to check a couple of details with you. Yep. I've got in my notes that you've never smoked. That's right. Yep. Oh, good girl. Okay. And um, that you have diabetes, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay, well thanks for that Polly. I think I've got all the information I need, so I'll just quickly check that and go over that. Oh, just to clarify, prior to these six days where you've been feeling much worse, how far were you able to walk when you went walking before you got short of breath? Well, I used to walk everywhere, but if I walk up to the shop, which is about 300 metres away, yeah. I have to rest when I get there. Okay, mm. but you're comfortable walking the 300 metres before you become short of breath? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, thanks for that. I think I've got everything I need now, so I might just have a look at you and see if there's anything I can find. Yeah, Is that okay? Fine. Yeah. Great. I've noticed you've been struggling to complete sentences. It's not too bad, but it is noticeable. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a bit bad, but I mean, today seems okay. Oh, well, that's good. Hey, do you mind if I have a listen to your chest? No, that's fine. Oh, Polly, this is Tom. He's my educator. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mrs. Carter. Good. So, I'm going to listen to your chest, but to do that, would it be possible to get you to sit on the edge of the bed? Yeah, that's I fine. just think it'll be easier if we do it like that. Okay. And just make sure that's closed for you. Okay. Thank you. Is that comfortable? Yes. Just bring the bed down a little bit and let your feet are flat on the floor. Is that better? Thank you. Okay, so to do this, I need to get under your shirt just so I can get a really good listen to your chest. Okay. 
try not to get your hair. <laughs> just breathe for me normally, just like you have been in and out of your mouth and no need to take deep breaths. Good, I just need to get a little bit further down, is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna go around the back and have a listen to your song. Okay. Just keep breathing the way you have been. Okay, there are quite a few noises in the bottom of your lungs. And the right does seem to be worse than the rest. It could mean that you have some secretions down there. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to have a feel of your breathing now. To do this, I need to put my hands on either side of your chest. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So just breathe normally. And can you please try and hold it? <coughs> Is that a bit difficult? Yeah. So four deep breaths, please. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to get a sputum cup for this next part. Okay, so Polly, I want you to do a half for me. It's like fogging up a mirror. It goes like this. Just like this? Just like that. Great. And repeat one more time. <coughs> Big cough. <coughs> okay. So how did that feel? Feels a lot better actually. Good. Yeah. That's really good. Um, again, can you rate it? So zero being like no effort at all and ten being as if you've just run a hundred meters? Okay, I guess it's probably like a two this time. Two? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now the good thing is not only did that give me some more information about you, but it helped work out a basis for your treatment. So there was quite a bit of noise happening when you were doing your huff before. Could you do it again now that some of those secretions have cleared? Yeah. Okay. Just like this? Just like that. Okay. Okay, so there's still some noises in there. That probably just means that there's still some secretions lying around that we haven't gotten out yet. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, Polly, what do you understand about your condition? Not a lot. Okay. Well, you have bronchiectasis, which means you do have some damage to your lungs. The tubes inside your lungs don't allow mucus to move around very well, so it gets caught up in your lungs. And this creates a great place for bacteria to grow, which unfortunately causes more damage. So we really have to help by moving these secretions along and clearing them. And these exercises you've just done, they've been shown to be really uh, effective with that sort of thing. Oh, okay. Thanks for that. Um, so does that mean I'll always be coughing? No, not always. But what it does mean is that you're going to have to do these exercises regularly, even when you are well. Okay. And um, will that... Uh help with the infections? Unfortunately not necessarily but it has been shown to reduce the amount of times people are admitted to hospital and also to give you a bit more control over when you cough. Okay all right that's great that sounds good thank you. Good. Not a problem so I'm going to give you this back and we're going to go through it again and look at it a little bit closer step by step. Okay thank you. Now that you have the hang of it, we might try some different positions just to move around your secretions. Mm -hmm. uh, your main issues seem to be in the lower parts of your lungs, so I'm going to show you what the best positions are to lie in to target that. Yeah.
okay. Okay, Polly, I do want to see where you're at with walking, so we might just do a short one, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay, as long as it's not too far. Oh yeah, don't worry. Look, all I want to do is get a baseline for your exercise tolerance and make sure that you can reach the bathroom and back on your own and see how much assistance nursing staff will need to give you with those sort of things, okay? Okay. Uh, Tom, would you be able to help me and bring over a monitor and some oxygen? Yeah, sure. So Tom's going to bring those over and what I'm going to do is unplug your oxygen and plug it in here so you'll still be on oxygen and just want to check your saturation levels as well. Okay Polly, this one just goes on your finger. So Tom, currently she is on 97% with, um, that's on four litres of oxygen. So I'll just get you to hold both of these sure. while I help Polly. Uh, Polly, I noticed in your charts before it said that you don't need a walking aid or anything like that, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I don't need one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a long time. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to monitor your saturation levels and everything and your shortness of breath. So while we're walking, if you do experience any of that, can you please let me know? Great. So I'm going to help you here. Would you be able to wheel both the monitor and the oxygen and I'll help Polly? Yeah, sure. Okay, so stand up. Oh, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're right there, Polly? Yeah. You're comfortable? Thank you. Okay. I've written down some exercises, the ones we've just been doing. So I've got it all written down for you. I'd like you to continue going on with that. Yeah. I'll be back this afternoon to check on you and run through that again with you. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, I'm going to ask you to sit out of bed for about an hour okay. before you get back in. If you do feel short of breath or anything like that, just ask the nursing staff and they'll put you to bed a bit earlier, okay? okay? Yep. So do no. you have any questions? Uh, not at this stage, no, but thanks very much for your help. Not a problem. I'll be back this afternoon and if you have any questions in the meantime, make sure to ask me when I come back. Okay. Thank you, Amy. No worries, Polly. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.